Good afternoon, YouTube. You, um, I see I've changed my name a little bit. Same stuff, just changed the name a little bit. It's Jay's Badass RC Season Reviews. Today we have on the bench the Tacono Pro. Um, I have taken it already out of the box and tested it a little bit and, um, get rid of all the straps and the garbage and stuff like this. So this will be a lot more, this will probably be a little bit more easier doing it this way and I'll give a little more in-depth review with it. So, so let's get to reviewing this bad girl. So, let's get to it. Um, as you can probably see, there's all the specifications, don't mind that, all the specifications for it. Um, it lets you know that the transmission and the width and everything. Um, this is a little bit different for me because I'm usually just taking it out of the box, see what I got, and then that was it. But this one's a little bit different because I'm going to kind of get into depth with this one. So, maybe a little long, maybe short, I don't know yet. Okay. See how this goes. This is included 110 brushless monster truck ready to run a 2.4 radio system and this just requires as the four batteries for the transmitter and 2s lipo and lipo battery charger which i already have so uh, i'm pretty well set with this so and then over here it kind of gives you your chassis or what your chassis looks like um over here it's got, you know, different colors for the body. And this is just another picture of it. More details here. So let's um let's open her up and go more into detail with it. Like I said, I went through and cut everything, so So, we get our manual, and you know, intent tube, and light clips, and stuff, and you can put lights in this, too, if you want to, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking about it, but not quite, quite sure. Excuse me. We'll go through that in a minute. We have our 2.4 gigahertz controller. I'm going to lift this up. These things irritate me, but it is what it is. But here's all your trim functions, your steering trim, your throttle trim, uh, steering rate, your servo reverser, and you got your on and off button, which obviously I put batteries already on it. Um, Let's pull this out of the box. It's a lot more easier this way. Get my way. And there she is. Let's bring this down so you can probably see it a little bit better. Camera stand's kind of sucking a little. Uh, gotta get a new one down the road. Anywho, this is what we got. Fix my stand a little. What's going on here? I have a small one too if I necessarily need it. Um, there's the truck. The gears sound awesome in that. I don't know if you can hear that. You can tell the tire's a little dirty because I've taken it out to test riding. It's from what I've done with it. Excuse me. Just ignore that stupid yawn and that my phone going off. And what I tested out this thing is awesome. Uh, I had that JLB a while ago, and that darn thing was fast. I think it was just too fast for me, and I just really couldn't control it. So this one is, is a 2S brushless motor. So this has got some decent speed at 
you, when you hit the throttle, it wheelies, because obviously if we have our infamous wheelie bar, which is really, really nice on this. Um, a lot of spin to it, and it's an adjustable wheelie bar, which I like. So I can maybe bring it up to this other bolt and bring it down a little bit more. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave it just as it is, because it's a nice little wheelie machine. <laughs> So, hold on one second. I'll let you look at that for a minute. <clears throat> Sorry for the interruption, folks. To take care of an issue. Um, this is the truck, like I said. Um... The Red Cat Dakona Bro Pro, I uh, can't talk tonight. Dakona Pro Brushless. Um, it's a 110 scale electric, ready to run. So let's uh, let's take this lid off and see what we're looking at. I got to get a better light to put on this table so I can see what basically I'm looking at. Because sometimes I like to work on my cars on this table, and I can't see the broad side of a barn on this table. And the table's black, so it blends on with the truck, so it's kind of hard. So let's do this. There's the shell. It's pretty rigid. It's not flimsy by no by no means. Um, I like that. It's pretty pretty solid. So, let's stick it up there. Uh, let's look at what we got inside. I know what you can see, but we're going to go in depth with this a little bit. All right. Um, as far as I know, this is a 60 amp ESC. Um, you probably could run a 3S on this, but you'd have to unplug this fan. Because it's 3S would give this so much torque that it would heat up so fast and probably blow this. Or you can go down the road and just order a better ESC for it and amp it up a little bit. But I think I'm, I'm just going to keep it as this. Is I'm just going to run this right out of the box. You know, maybe go a couple like milliamps higher for um, the batteries. Other than that, I think I'm just going to keep it as this. I like it. Um, I'm going to take a look. There's, how about we turn this around? Mostly everything's on this side anyway. Um, okay. Here's the steering servo, as you've probably already might heard. That's a pretty strong servo. And it, it, it turns pretty good. I can't complain that it doesn't... That it doesn't turn, but it does. So, you know, sometimes they look a little wonky when they turn, or they skip and then turn. No, this one works right on the dime. So, I don't know how many kilovolts it is. It's a Hexfly uh, HX115S servo. So, that's pretty good. Um... I could probably, it might even help me if I probably read the specifications on the side here as I'm pointing them out. Okay. Let's see. The motor type is a, the motor type is a 540-3300 kV brushless motor. So that's a pretty good motor. Um, drive system, obviously, is a four-wheel drive. Um, the width is 325 millimeter. Height is 205 millimeter. Length is 465 millimeter. And the wheelbase is 275 millimeter. Shocks are threaded big bore quality over oil-filled shocks. That's these. And... They do feel, they do feel adjustable. So that, that, that's pretty good. 
they do feel adjustable and they're pretty big and it has it's pretty good it's got a pretty stable um obviously the chassis everything is made of plastic maybe you got a couple little metal parts in here but nothing there's not nothing substantial to be metal uh, everything seems to be plastic um yes the esc is uh brushless 60 amp waterproof um that's pretty much what's that um so yeah um and like i said the motor that's a nice size can i like that it's a nice can Here's your on and off switch right here. Um, there's your receiver box. Um, it, these these links and stuff seem to be adjustable, but I can't be. They look to be adjustable. The lower A arm seem, seems to be pretty pretty rigid. Um, shocks are pretty good. Shock mounts are looking pretty good. Sorry, I'm going off camera here. Stuff out of the way so I can do this. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Like the links, looking pretty good. This is can't tell if it's metal or plastic. It doesn't see as like giving it any give, so I think it's metal. So I've been outside all day. It's a long day. Um here's the front end. The front end looks pretty good. Um the A arms seem to be pretty good. The lower A arms. I'm surprised there is no upper A arm. But I think usually with brushlesses they don't. I could be wrong. Um, there's a bumper. Bumper seems to be pretty tough. But my thing is, I ain't worried about the bumpers. It's right here. Because sometimes if you take a corner, a corner impact, is it going to resist? This, that's my biggest worry with these. But I have been learning in time that I'm going to start taking it easy. <laughs> If I'm going to drive these full speed, I'm going to use a lot of open space to do it, which they probably tell you that's what you should do in the manual. But my thick-headed, stupid self doesn't want to do that. They don't want to go out and show everybody and know that comes across and be like, oh! So, but everything's looking pretty good on this. The tires are pretty... They're a little soft. They're pretty grippy. Look at that. It's pretty grippy. Let me see. All right, let's see. It's got some resistance to it, I'll tell you that. So, let's slip this back on. Let's go through the manual real quick. I usually don't go through manuals, but it wouldn't hurt now, would it? Alright. I just set that on there. Well, let's see what we got here. Scissors are here. Well, guess what, Jay? Time for new scissors. I'm cutting like they used to. All right. I also have uh, a few more, a couple more vehicles coming. Um, I bought myself. Um, a couple of them are within the two to three hundred dollar range, and the one I got, the other one I got. Is I say three fifty to four. I say about four to four fifty range, 
and that one is a little bit bigger than this beast. So I got a couple of them. I got another red cat coming. I got an armor coming, and I got an exceed coming. The exceed, I'm gonna do an unboxing everything because there ain't too many of this one. This one I think is new to the market, and I was surprised at what I saw. I bought it off of Amazon. Um, it's a beautiful vehicle, beautiful vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna try to cherish this one. This one I'm gonna treat it like a piece of fragile glass when I get it. So, all right, let's finish this. All of this stuff in here. I'll get rid of that. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, I did say earlier that it gave me focus in there light clips. So, like I said, if I wanted to, I can add bucket lights here in the front. And you got mm, one, two, maybe a couple in the back. I think how many clips are in here? Four clips in total. So I can get like a four light set, maybe two white in front and two white in the back. I think that should work out all right. So I'm gonna look up something like that. There's that. Um, here is your antenna tube and your blind plug. Oh, I'm down too low. And you probably can't see because it's got light shining on it. Here's your antenna tube and your blind plug. This is the first piece of paper we got. This first piece of paper we got, let's see. I can't tell you what it is if it's upside down. Come on, Jay, get with it here. Pretty big piece of paper. This is a user manual waterproof central brushless speed controller. So I think, yeah, you can amp this up to for you can set it for 3S, I think, but you're gonna have to. Which uh, RC Sailors they've got this truck and it said that you must amp up the fan. And yes, see if you want to put a 3S in it. But like I said, I'm just going to run this puppy straight from the box. I'm going to keep it on um, stock. I'm going to keep everything in it stock. So. Yep, so that's what that does. It shows you how to control your ESC. I'm going to send that over there. This little piece of paper. Just let you know what the it's a little piece of paper that just lets you know what the device has in it and its specification. So here is the actual manual itself. Which these I like to keep and read. You're supposed to anyway, but that's you know, besides that. But this is the manual. Well, it's usually with Red Cat, they're usually particular and they pinpoint everything in here your no's and your yeses, and what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and stuff like that. And then it shows you how your electronic speed controller, you gotta see how to control that. See if you lose that piece of paper, you got it in here too. So that, that's pretty good. So, and then towards the back, as your parts, and then how you're blowing up everything and blow up. So this is pretty good. Parts lists numbers. And then on the back it just says Red Cat, fast, affordable, fun. Redcatracing.com, follow us on social media, which I basically have all these guys, all this, <laughs> except for the Instagram. 
Yeah, so the Dakota, Dakota Pro, and Dakota runs on the, the brushed motor. It has a 550 cam brush motor and all that. And it, I think it comes with a battery and everything. But I didn't want that one. I wanted the Beast. So. And here is your... 110 scale hop up parts compatibility cart chart. This is if you want to upgrade stuff into it. This shows you what to do, how to do it. That's basically what this is. And then we got this. This. Yep, yeah, this, this is how everything should be hooked up. Yeah, in different languages, how, how to mount the motor into your RC vehicle. That's basically what that is, and I think this is the same thing. Yeah, I have no clue why there's two in here, they're both the same thing. That's that with that. Um... You can hear that. That's so that is the metal gear inside there's metal gear. So that's a good thing. A good thing to know. I don't think this has any of that. No, I don't think so. Um yeah. I'm just going to do this real quick. One thing I learned from the Jake Billing videos of when he used to do the RC cars, this is one thing he used to do. So, what you do, once you get your plug in, you, um, once you get a plug in, you turn around and then you come over here Let's adjust this camera up a little bit you come over here get this on the motor kicks on and just hold it up enough to my paper everywhere. Sorry, did you slow up a little bit? And there's full throttle. So that is, that's a beast. There's your servo is pretty good. There's no skipping, no sputtering on it, so that's pretty good. So don't ignore that, just ignore that. So that is the 2020 review of the Red Cat Decono Pro. I've been eyeing up this thing for a while now. And when, oh, I ended up, I say, since I, since the the JLB broke, I've been eyeing up this thing, and I finally got it. And I have to. And uh, another thing I want to get into is this coronavirus stuff. I hope everybody's safe. Uh, you know, wash your hands, keep your six feet distance. Um, I went to the store today, and I kept my distance as far as I can go. 
I did what I had to do. I just I just went in, boom, 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 got what I needed and got out. Um, if you're sick, stay home. Um, let's all fight this together. We can do this together. So, but I uh, wanted to... Red Cat, awesome vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of the Red Cat Racing Dakota Pro. Um, I have a couple more vehicles coming. Um, when I get them, I will do uh, unboxings. And I'll do better unboxings than this. Because, like I said, this is our, all over the YouTube. So the you know, next two I'm getting are really not that well known. So I'll do unboxings of those. But y'all have a good day, good night, I should say. It is 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> Um, I have my own room here now, so I can do this. I don't even have to go down cellar. You know, I got a table, chair, everything. I'm good here. Um, so stay safe. Stay stay healthy, wealthy, and wise. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do.